The King has attended the Easter Sunday service at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. It is the monarch's first major public appearance since being diagnosed with cancer. He was joined by the Queen and other senior royals at the service, which finished just a few minutes ago. But the Prince and Princess of Wales were not among the congregation, as Martha Fairley reports. The King and Queen made the short journey to St George's Chapel inside the grounds of Windsor Castle by car. Smiling and waving, the King responded, and to you, as one person in a crowd of well-wishers shouted, Happy Easter. He was joined at the chapel by members of the royal family, including the Princess Royal and her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. The Duke and Duchess of York were also at the service. Many members of the public had turned out to show their support. We're here also to um, show uh, the royal family uh, who are going through a difficult time uh, how much uh, we are all behind them and how much we support them and that our prayers are with them. We chose Sunday to come to Windsor in the hope of seeing the King and Queen and pass on our best wishes for the family in this difficult time we're going through. It's heartbroken really and we're here to support them, like all of us here. So yeah, wish them everything get back to normal soon. As expected, the Princess of Wales, who recently announced in this video message she was also being treated for cancer, was not at the service, choosing to spend Easter in private with the Prince of Wales and their children. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. In his Easter sermon at Canterbury Cathedral, the Archbishop of Canterbury wished the King and Princess of Wales well. We have watched and sympathised with and felt alongside the dignity of the King and the Princess of Wales as they have talked of their cancer, and in doing so by their lack of selfishness, by their grace and their faith, boosted so many others. Since Buckingham Palace announced his cancer diagnosis on February the 6th, King Charles has been on light duties. And while this is a rare and his most significant appearance in recent months, there is no indication when he might be seen in public again. Martha Fairley, ITV News. Our reporter Olivia Guthrie is at Windsor for us this lunchtime. Olivia, the King appeared to be in quite good spirits today. Well, yes, I mean, the King did break with tradition coming to church by car this morning rather than making the 10 minute journey on foot. But he certainly looked well. He stopped to smile and wave and wish a happy Easter to the crowds alongside the Queen before they both joined the other senior royals inside St George's Chapel. And on the way out, he stopped again to talk to the crowds and shake everybody's hands and again wish them a happy Easter again. But of course, there was a very big absence today. The Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children not attending the Easter Sunday service after Kate was herself diagnosed with cancer. But the King, um, despite his own illness and that of the Princess of Wales, very much showing that it's business as usual for the royal family, coming out here at Windsor to greet the public and also to show that he's doing quite well, despite the hugely turbulent personal time that they're all having behind the scenes. Olivia, thank you.